Marian used to enjoy seeing the seashell Balisala in rivers during road trips with her father. Balisala is a local delicacy in Negros Occidental, but it has disappeared over time. This moved Marian to study how to preserve life in bodies of water, like rivers, which are often threatened by pollution. Ako si Marian Ladasma. So yung research ko po, tungkol siya sa EDTA MGO. This EDTA MGO is used as an adsorbent for methylene blue in water. Yung sugarcane field, sometimes the runoff from fertilizers, these are organic pollutants and they usually end up in the rivers. EDTA MGO is a nanoadsorbent that comes from graphite. Previous study used it to remove mercury and lead from water. Marian studied its potential use on organic pollutants by testing it with methylene blue, a compound often discharged from factories to bodies of water. The adsorbent, at a certain amount, was able to remove almost all of the methylene blue. If it can remove that, it should be able to remove other types of organic pollutants. Etna Emgo's magnetic property makes it easy to retrieve it from water. This can limit possible water damage from unretrieved adsorbents. Marian did the study in her final year at Negros Occidental National Science High School, where she spent six years of school away from home and living in a dorm. This research let her spend time with her father. I'm in Bacolod and then I had to conduct my research in Iloilo. It's dad that was the chaperone through the whole journey. I think our bond, our relationship has grown. This was definitely a bonding experience with my father. Her project won one of the top awards during the Department of Education's 2020 National Science and Technology Fair and was among the Philippine entries to the 2020 International Science and Engineering Fair. She hopes to inspire other researchers to build on her discovery. For the bigger picture in Negros Occidental, I would really love for EDTA MGO to be used as part of the water purification system of the many sugar mills found in my province.